Hi, Miss March here. Let's talk about break-even. Before we proceed, we need to unlock these following terms. First, the general formula relating profit, revenue, and cost is given below, which is the profit is equal to the revenue minus cost, or the difference between the revenue and cost. It can be written as a function, which is P of X is equal to R of X minus C of X. When the price of the product is expressed as a function, Q of X, then we have the revenue function, which is R of X, is equal to Q of X times X. Take note that X is the number of units sold. Next. What do we mean by fixed cost and variable cost? Fixed costs include such things as rent, basic telephone expenses and utilities, wages for employees, loan or lease payments, and other necessary expenditures that remain the same no matter how much of the product is manufactured or sold. So, hindi siya nagbabago. Variable costs include expenses on raw materials, direct labor, and energy that vary or change directly with the amount of product produced and sold. So if we need to write a cost function, we can use a C of X and express it as a C of X is equal to V of X plus F C of X, where V of X is the variable cost. And FC here is the fixed cost. The variable cost function is obtained by multiplying the cost to produce each item by the variable X. That only means that the variable cost expenses of producing one unit of product. While the fixed cost function is the is a constant function. So like what I have said earlier, hindi siya nagbabago. Next, break-even point. That is the point at which neither profit nor loss is made. So it can be written as R of X is equal to C of X. So the revenue is equal to the cost. Okay? So... The profit here, P of X, is equal to zero. So, if we are talking about break-even point, the profit is equal to zero. Okay. So, what will happen if C of X is greater than R of X or the cost exceeds the revenue? So, that means that the firm is operating at a loss. Uh, loss. Okay? So, this means that the cost of production exceeds the revenue from sales. While, if R of X exceeds C of X or the revenue exceeds the cost, that means the firm earns profit. Let's have this example. So let's answer this problem. Assume that the level of fixed cost, salaries, rent, utilities necessary to run Desa's coffee shop on a monthly basis is determined at 29,995 pesos. In addition, a cup of, co a cup of coffee that is for sale at 50 pesos costs the shop 15 pesos for the bulk coffee, filters, and water. Do the following. A. Set up the revenue function and the cost function. B. Determine the profit function. And C. Find the break-even point. So, let's start with uh, revenue function. So, take note that the revenue function is written as R of X and that is the price times the number X, which is the number of units sold. So in this problem, the price of the coffee 
cost 50 pesos. Therefore, the revenue function is R of X is equal to 50X. Next, how about the cost function? Okay, so take note that the cost function is equal to the variable cost or V of X plus fixed cost of X. So in the problem, the variable, the variable cost is given, which is 15 pesos. So 15 times the number unit sold, which is X, because we don't know what is X here, plus the fixed cost. And what is the fixed cost on the problem? That is 29,995. So plus 29,995. Therefore, the cost function is C of X is equal to 15X plus 29,995. Okay? Let's proceed with the profit function. So let her be determine the profit function. So just take note the general formula, which is P of X is equal to the difference of the revenue and cost. Right? Therefore, we have P of X here is equal to the revenue function, which is 50X minus the cost function is 15x plus 29,995. So, we have to write a parenthesis here because the sign here will affect the subject head. So, we have 15x plus 29,995. Next is we have 50x perform the operation. So, we have minus 15x minus 29,995. Then, do it algebraically. 50x combine like terms. 50x minus 15x, that is 35x, minus 29,995. So, that is P of x. So, that is the profit function. Next, letter C, find the break-even point. Okay, take note that the break-even point is the uh, revenue is equal to the cost function. Therefore, we have to equate 50x is to uh, 15x plus 29,995 and then solve for the value of x. Okay, so combine like terms, we have 50x. Minus 15x is equal to 29,995. Then 50x minus 15x is 35x. So 35x is equal to 29,995. Divide both sides by 35. So we have x is equal to 29,995 divided by 35 is 800. 57. So, this one is the break-even point quantity or units. This is the alternative way to find the break-even point in units. Okay. Um, since we already know the profit function of this problem, which is P of X is equal to 35X minus 29,995, then uh, we always, uh, we need to remember that the profit at the break-even point is always equal to zero. So if P of X is equal to zero, then we just substitute zero to P of X. X. So, 0 is equal to 35X minus 29,995. We can interchange this to 35X minus 29,995 is equal to 0. Then, find the value of X, which is 35X is equal to 29,995. Divide both sides by 35. And we get 
x is equal to 857. As you can see, we have the same answer earlier. So 857 is the break-even point in units.